Hey guys, Donnie was standing goods rescue. I just made it back to the property. I don't know why the sand gnats are so bad this year, but I don't normally use that mess, but I just couldn't handle being attacked so much. Let's see, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get my stuff together. I'm using the bigger one this time. I'm not going in here without um, having a little bit of protection just in case there's something like a bear in here. I don't want to have a bear attack me. This is this is Kim's 45. And these are the the bullets that we use in it. It's just for self-defense. I don't hunt with them. It's just hard to make an ethical kill with a pistol. I just want to make sure if there's a bear in here that I am not unarmed so I got 45 and of course my everyday carry I'll bring my sunglasses just in case I know you guys can see that mess I'm having to look in my screen um, I got the I guess it's the herpes herpes in the face or something this is the second time I've ever had one it was a bubble and I picked on it and popped it and don't ever get ground up beef jerky into a split on your lip it makes you say bad words and it does not feel good stand by fixing to uh, get out of the car and we're gonna head back to the back and see if we can't find something all right guys here we go That right there is the blackberries uh, this past week. Right in there is where the movement was. So I'm going to make my way back here. I took the case off my phone and turned off a lot of the stuff in the background so maybe it won't overheat on me. Sorry about the wind noise. I can't do a whole lot about that. Take the holster off this this pistol just in case and half cock it. Okay, I just want to make sure I can get to it quickly without it binding in the case if a bear or a coyote gets after me. It's really dry. Some rain last night, but not much. I'm seeing okay, it's a shadow. I'm trying to figure out the setting I need to be in for the zoom. I 
this, that'll be good. I'm looking for tracks. There's a big print last week up here. some reason I keep having notifications come up on my screen. There's what's left of that track. It's like an animal stepped in it here and messed it up. You can see the toes. Uh, see, where's my finger at? There we go. You can see the, uh, that's where the toes were on it right there. I believe, am I looking at the right? No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, right here. There's the toes. This part here was caved in. You can see the big toe, and you can see the other toes. Oh, it looks like another one right there. That This used to be the game trail coming into here. I'm already nervous, and I ain't even heard nothing. Just got here. Okay, you see this limb right here on the ground? Um, that's where I was at when I heard that growling last week. For you guys that have seen that video, I wish it weren't so crunchy out. It's kind of hard to sneak in here. These dead pines have fallen, or starting to fall over the trail. I have to get the tractor up here, I think. You guys, let me know if, um, if y'all that do this, that go out here looking for evidence of these things, is it best to come out here quiet and not make any sound? Or should I be loud where I don't um, sneak up on something? Guys, I ain't kidding. I'm hearing... sound again I hope that's an airplane this is the exact spot I was at when I heard it and it was right through there My heart's pounding. I do not like this. I'm hearing the growling sound, but it's not loud. It sounds like it's off at a distance. It sounds like a jet, an airplane. I don't hear it now. There it is. Hello?
as I'm literally shaking. I need to have somebody up here with me. I've got two firearms on me right now. And I'm scared to death. I don't want to walk. I don't want to walk past this little curve right here where that little pine is and this little tree. I do not want to walk in that area. Crap. Trying not to shake the phone so bad. I apologize. It's right through there. The wind's blowing on me and in that direction. Got my firearm out. So I'm holding this left handed. Oh my god, that's scary. I know y'all y'all aren't hearing anything, I'm sure. Still a little scared, but not like I was right there. Shoot. I'm going to go ahead and walk back here to where I planted some corn the deer I didn't plant much because I don't want the if anybody's hunting out here I don't want them to come out and find the deer eating and shoot them we spent a lot of money that we don't have to waste on minerals for these does so that they can raise some healthy babies without them uh, falling sick from lack of nutrients. That bag right there, corn bag. Right here is where my phone overheated again and shut off. And so I stepped over to the left about 10 foot up under the shade of that small scrub oak to let it cool off a second and then I resume recording guys I'm sorry my phone keeps cutting off I've been having so many problems with this tap burn thing I don't know what to do about it but what I That was that was uh, footsteps. Definitely was footsteps. Listen, what? right there, there. Oh, shoot. It's over here too. Bad, bad, bad feeling again. Stagger footsteps. 
this is where that growling sound's been coming from right here. Guys, I'm sorry I'm reacting <clears throat> like this. I just, I'm by myself. And that was so loud. Oh, I hope the video's picked it up. My phone keeps, the camera keeps turning off on it. I'm gonna head back to the car. I've got to have somebody with me out here. I can't do this by myself. Um, it probably didn't pick it up on camera, but that was uh, that was 100% bipedal footsteps. I mean, it was crunching. It sounded like big limbs being uh, broken. Oh, my stomach hurts. I got so scared. Oh, my Lord. I'm going to go ahead and get in the car. I'm sorry. I know I need to be braver out here. For those of you guys that's never seen one of these these Sasquatch creatures, they're so big, and it's to see one in a photograph or a video does nothing for their size. They're absolutely enormous, and we've gotten a lot of footprints up here we've gotten a lot of very strange activity up here at the property I've never been growled at at this property um, we get these rumbling this kind of a low rumble noise I don't believe it's a growl it resembles a growl and we've always had that from the very first day we walked on this property after we uh, had purchased it. And uh, this past video, the one that I, when I stopped my phone to change the settings, I got growled at. I couldn't hear it on the video. And I apologize for that. I'm not gonna put myself out there in harm's way just to get a recording of a growl. But that was walking. It come from behind me. And then when I started to get out of that spot, then it came from my left side. The same area where that growling was. Um, and I think it was growling I heard when I first started in there. I'm going to come back. But I'll, I'll come back with Kim or one of my friends to come out here and with two people armed. We, we stand a little better chance at being safe but I'm alone if I trip or if anything happens to me there's no backup plan for me to be protected and these things are so big even the smaller ones um, to see something on two legs the same size as us it, it's frightening it looks like you're looking back in history at a caveman or a Neanderthal. There's no monkey in these things. There's no gorilla in them. Or some type of of human mix or I, I don't know. I don't have an explanation. I'd be guessing if I said anything and just stood behind it. I can stand behind that they're large. They're very, very large and they're very scary. That shook me up. Um, I've never heard them. Out in that open where that little trail is, I went down. We've never heard them on the trail. Never. It's always been back at that. If you could see the tree line way back here. Uh, back 
back there at the tree line is where I found two deer heads. It looked like they were torn off. And they were bucks. They had horns on them. And I took them home. And they sat at my house for a long time. And the flesh was still intact. The eyes were still in it. No maggots, no bugs, no worms of any type would touch it. And I don't, I don't understand that unless it had a chemical on it. And they did have a weird petroleum smell, but I, I returned them back to the woods because I don't want that crap at the house. When I brought it there, it stirred up all kind of paranormal garbage, and we don't have an extra room to spare for the boogeyman. Guys, I'm going to leave. Um, that shook me up pretty bad. I'll wait until I have Kim come out here with me or one of my friends. I'm not coming out here alone. Not again. Not back there. I'm sorry if this was brief and you didn't get to see anything. I apologize for that. My heart is set on getting evidence so that... I can convince myself that what I saw was real. And I know it was real. I've seen too many of them. But there's an addiction that you get when you run into one of these things. And you want to keep going and look for more and more evidence of them. And I, I don't know why that is. But it's a dangerous addiction. You know, we don't know nothing about these animals or these people, whatever they are, other than they're extremely large and they're much stronger and faster than we are. And these woods are their domain. When we step out into these forests, we're stepping into their front door. Oh, my Lord. A piece of paper just blew across my floorboard right there, a piece of trash. It scared the crap out of me. I thought something was coming on the other side. Whew. Well, guys, I'm going to head out of here. I'm, I'm going to go home. This is too much for me to do alone. Y'all have a wonderful day. God bless each and every one of you. And until next time, be safe.